everyone welcome back to my channel or oh, welcome if you are new here my name is Indah and I make content about junk journaling art journaling and also pen paling so if you are keen on this cozy hobbies and want to know more about it you can subscribe to my channel and you can binge watch all of the videos in my little corner of internet Alright, so today's video is very exciting because it is a collaboration video for Halloween Journal Challenge hosted by Kia from Kia Creates. So it is a month-long journal challenge filled with cozy and spooky prompts that you can interpret however you like throughout the month of October. So today's prompt is fallen leaves and as you saw earlier, I have heaps of leaves on my desk and I'm going to turn them into stickers and I'm going to show you how to do it as well. It's super easy, so you need a piece of baking sheet and, and then you place a clear tape on top of it. Then you put your leaf there like I'm doing here and put a clear tape again on top of the leaf and that is done. So yeah, it's simple. Uh, and then you just need to cut it in shape and that is your sticker. To use the sticker, you just need to peel off the baking sheet so it will leave you only with the clear tape and the leaf. So that's how you can turn them into stickers. So with this prompt, I wasn't sure at first with what I wanted to do. Then I was just asking my husband to collect the fallen leaves at the train station because at that day he was there and I know there are lots of big trees over there and I often see fallen leaves. So just if you are not aware already, I live in a tropical country, so obviously I don't have autumn, but I live in a hilly area of the country, so the weather is nice here and it can get chilly in the morning and at night, and for some reasons, I often see fallen leaves here in certain area in any time of the year. So yeah, I really love whenever I go past that area. So I asked my husband to collect some for me the fallen leaves and he did such a great job to be honest in picking the leaves with autumn colors so I have heaps of them and I'm just making more stickers over here with the leaves he got for me and to make them into stickers to be completely honest it is best to press them first so they will be flat but I didn't have the patience at that time and I kind of needed to film this earlier so I just tried my best but if you want to try it then I suggest you to press them first because it's easier when they are flat and also if they are flat it won't bulk your journal as much with the ones that I have here I just tried my best to press them without breaking them and I do have a couple more that I didn't turn them into stickers and that's because how wrinkled they are so yeah now I'm just cutting them into shape before I put them into my journal that I have all the leaves ready I'm just thinking about the position I decided to place them on the bottom part of the spread I wanted to make a a bush shape with them so I tried to place them in the shape of bush and 
once I'm happy with the combination of the leaves on each of the page I just stick them directly on the spread and you can see how easy it is to peel off the backing sheet My journal is in A5 size and I didn't realize that the leaves are quite big for the journal but that's okay if you want you can turn them into some pieces or just cut it in half but I really want to have them in full shape but I have some here that are overhanging on the bottom of the spread because they are too long and I just cut them it's alright it's only the stem with this halloween journal challenge everybody can join both on youtube and instagram there's a prompt every day and there's a creator or a collaborator on youtube every day as well showing you their take on the prompt i am the collaborator for two prompts actually for this year one is today which is the prompt is fallen leaves and the other one is cozy nook which will be on the 24th of october so you will see another video from me for this challenge and if you want to take part, I'll leave all of the information on the description box so you can check it out. Back to the video, I have this autumn leaves pattern paper and I think it's from one of my pen pals, I couldn't remember. And I just cut it in half and make each of them as a page corner. I also have a small blue envelope that I want to put somewhere in the spread but I wasn't sure at this moment but before that I just realized that I have some pressed flower from my holiday last year and I remember I put them in a book so I grabbed my book and looked for them and I expected as expected they are perfectly pressed so I decided to turn them into stickers as well I like bringing a book whenever I'm on a trip. Not only it's for a companion, but I can use it to store flowers from the trip. I do have a pressed flower thing in my home and ideally I have to transfer the flowers from the book to the pressed flower thing. But I obviously forgot and they left a mark on the pages, but I don't mind. But that's probably something that you need to be aware of if the books that you are bringing is precious. I really love the flowers here, aren't they just so pretty? I love the purple ones and the one that has a yellow baking paper is a dried flower from my friend so I thought I would include that as well. So it's the same technique like I was showing you in the beginning of the video. I just grabbed the baking sheet left over and yeah using the clear tape as well. They look even more beautiful when they have cut into shape like this. So now that the flowers are ready, I'm playing around with how I want to put them on the spread. So basically for this spread, I just want to journal about about the leaves that my husband got me and how he did such a great job in picking out the colors. It's really a simple everyday journal kind of thing and I absolutely love journaling about small moments because I'm a firm believer that little thing is not little. It will certainly be a treasure in the coming years so, so yeah that's what I'm gonna journal about on this spread. The flowers that I have here are so thin so I guess this is the best way to preserve them because the clear tape is protecting them. I also saw some people laminate the dried flowers but if you don't have the machine then I think this is the best alternative. But I also recently saw someone preserved it with dipping the leaves in a, bees a beeswax. Yeah, I think beeswax. But I haven't tried it, so if you have, let me know in the comments how it goes or if you have any other way to keep them. 
now that I have my small envelope stick down already on the page I'm thinking to put some journaling inside the envelope but I also want to journal straight on the page so I'm using my alphabet stamp for the title and I'm doing it in different direction because there's a blank gap on the music page after that I'm doing a little bit of journaling on the page and I think it gives a little texture on the page as well I'm using Sarasa gel pen for this Since the envelope is blue and not very autumnal, I wanted to decorate it to be more cozy and on theme. So I have this autumn washi sticker from the washi tap shop. I have a discount code for you guys by the way if you are interested in anything from the shop. It's Rookie Journal 10 for 10% off. The link is also on my description box so you can just click there. I chose one that has a house surrounded by trees obviously during autumn time it's so cozy and beautiful I want to place the sticker straight on the envelope and I also want the envelope to still be able to open so I cut the sticker according to the flap shape so I just grabbed my mat and knife and just cut it like this I really love how it turns out this is actually my first attempt on doing something like this like cutting the washi I didn't know if it works out with this material but it works so I'm very pleased with the result then I just continue to decorate the spread so I grabbed my sticker book and put paper tapes and stickers on the spread and I will also put a label on top left corner and I also wanted to put a girl sticker I recently purchased heaps of beautiful girl stickers from Indonesian Illustrator the brand's name is Cubic's Little Garden but sadly she is closing down and she was having a big sale for her stock so yeah I managed to snatch some and this girl is one of it I love how she's carrying a basket and her aesthetics just screaming cozy to me I also have this sticker sheet from my pen pal Lizzie. It's her own design and it has these poetry phrases and this is just an instant inspiration for me because at this point I actually have written all of the things that I wanted to write on the page and I wasn't sure what to put inside the envelope so this sticker sheet inspires me to put a poem or quote inside the envelope then yeah i just opened pinterest and write something for the label and another one for the envelope envelope is really sweet it says you and me a grow together kind of love a forever kind of thing I think that is very lovely so I'm so happy with this poem or a quote and I don't know it's just um, really resonates to me so I yeah I really love it then I just write a little bit more on the page then I call it finish I absolutely love this spread it's really a journey in itself from from just sticking down fallen leaves on the spread not knowing what to journal about to now having a lovely and touching quotes inside the envelope so 
I'm just so happy with how this turned out and I hope you enjoyed the process as well and get some inspiration from this session. If you did, please let me know in the comments and click the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, that would mean so much to me. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you're all doing amazing. I will see you in my next video. Bye!